Final Tax, presented by Ingrid Daniela Tose Delgado, teacher Claudia Patricia Munera, course teaching English to Adolescent and Adults, Group A, Universidad Nacional Abierta a Distancia, UNAD. I go to present my lesson plan, is determined by the accurate A. And the topic is present perfect tense, and the time established is two hours of a uh, high school public. Uh, the main aim is identify the importance of using the present perfect tense with the idea to talking about past actions to relate to the present time. With this, we can relate the specific objectives that recognize the way and use and creation of present perfect tense and the reason for its use. Classify verbs that contain the correct use of present perfect tense. Uh, students are able to create affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentences with the use of present perfect tense. The students are able to generate simple answers when questioning with the use of present perfect tense. And the students are able to create small stories with the use of present perfect tense. The lesson plan is divided in six stages. Warm-up, presentation, practice, production, assessment, and assignment. In warm up, the time established is 10 minutes and the result is board and mark. Uh, in warm up, uh, the activity is that teacher present in a friendly way the topic about the present perfect tense. The idea is present uh, about the information in, in what moment is used and some examples. And then um, the course is divided into a couples and the students should speak about the activities that they did previously and um, which they still do now and if possible uh, give a, a reason and uh, it is very important that students can uh, stay attend to the information that the classmates say because at uh, the end of this uh, the students present uh, at least one sentences of the activities that their classmates did. Um, this is a uh, present in an oral way. And then uh, I present the, the next stage that is presentation. In this stage, uh, the time established is 20 minutes. Uh, with this, I, the teacher is uh, using the next resource, uh, book, board, marker, notebook, and pen. The idea is that teacher present the topic in a broad way uh, with the use, in what moment, use this, this uh, present perfect tense, how I can form, uh, what are the construction. With this, uh, I present the, an example of this. With this I can present what is present perfect, how is the forms to create present perfect. Uh, the most important, the past participles. You know that in this part of uh, the past participle is used to create present perfect. Um, it's very important to to give information about how create this present this present perfect because the past participles is really different. Uh, irregular and irregular verbs. There are some examples about regular verbs, and the most important: how are uh, what are the rules about this? For example, with this part, and the most important: the regular verbs, because you know that uh, irregular verbs is more complicated because uh, there are uh, there are not established the form. For this, necessary the most uh, study of this. You can see some examples, and the most important, uh, the create of uh, affirmative, negative, interrogative, uh, and some on how can develop the answers. But most important because uh, the rule is very important because it's the way how I can create uh, this affirmative, negative, interrogative, and how I can uh, develop the answer in affirmative and in, in a negative way. Okay, uh, when uh, they present this topic, 
I I developed the practice activity. For this, I the the time is 20 minutes, and the resource is video, uh, history, and a photocopy, uh, vocabulary or flashcards, uh, a notebook and pen. First, I begin with the present uh, to the students a video that contains information about the present perfect tense. Uh, in this case, it's a song. Uh, the idea is that the students uh, listen and watch video and, uh, and find some sentences uh, about the topic and then expose it to the classmate. Uh, the idea to expose it is writing a word and then oral way. Um, and finally to correct the mistakes because it's very important to to understand how the students um, uh, the, how the students develop the activities and how the students understand the topic the video is this is about traveling it's a song we can see that in this we can find some sentences in in present perfect tense for example have you been to the wolves this is very important that the students understand what are the use of present perfect in this song okay when they develop this part of the video um, uh, the students develop the reading of a, a little story of the life of Jack Forrester. Uh, for this activity, the, the course is divided in group of three of three students. Um, uh, the students read the history. Uh, each group underlined where there are present perfect tense. Uh, it's a small history. Jack Forest is this how you can say this has more history and contains some some sentences with the topic when they finish this part it is very important to correct the mistakes because we can find some mistakes in the underline of this of this part of the reading and when the students final final or finish this part I present to the students uh, a flashcards with the verbs in present the idea is that students uh, take these uh, verbs in present and translate to the past participle to create the present perfect sentences in affirmative negative and interrogative um, as you can say there are these verbs in present when students choose the the verb they develop this part of the creation of the sentences and then when they develop this part they they, they choose or they choose um, express or expose this part uh, in a wider way in a board and verbally to the classmates the time is 20 minutes and um, then I present the production activity in this part and we only develop one activity uh, the time is 15 minutes and um, the resource is only notebook and pen the idea is that each student create a small history of actions that they done in the past and that they still carry out and in a verbal way to expose to the classmates the topic can be can be can be see um, what they did in the in the last week and it's there are things that are more, more complicated and the history is not extensive the most important is that the students can be expressed some sentences in a, in the present perfect tense and then with the, the production, uh, we develop the assessment. The idea is that uh, students and teachers uh, translate to the campus area to develop a um, web quiz. 
It's not complicated. The quiz, the activity is this. It's about the pandas. Um, it's very easy. They need only comprehension and attention about the reading. And first, begin with a simple, simple word where they need to understand. And then uh, they begin with the use of the present perfect tense, where they have three options to select. And when they when they finish, they choose or uh, they have click in done. And of this, we have the score of this activity. This is a good, this is a good tool because we can, we can have um, the grade in, in the same moment. And the time is, is 20 minutes, sorry, 20 minutes. And the use is only with computer and internet. And finally, in the assignment, uh, the idea is that the students read a uh, story about the uh, Anna's life and then uh, develop the activities proposed in the photocopies. I'm going to present. Uh, it's a story about the present perfect story. As you can say, it's a, sm it's a small story. And the more important is that uh, the comprehension, because the first part is about comprehension about the about the reading, and then in the next uh, in the next part uh, they develop the present perfect uh, with the negative just no question wh question and cat question. This is small, very easy. Uh, this is a homework for the reason uh, the time is five minutes and when they finish this in the homework in the next class present to the teacher as you can say this is a, as it's a very easy lesson plan we can evaluate the knowledge of the students about the topic and we can use about the auto evaluation and the evaluation is can be used too um, the most important is that we can evaluate the formative and summative. Um, we can create space to the participation of students in the activity and the, and the creation of the space between the students can evaluate to the other classmates and it's very important. And the time estimated is two hours, but the reason is very easy, two hours of English class. Um, I hope that you you can you can practice this lesson plan in any moment. And it's very important. And this is my lesson plan. Thank you very much for the attention.